Right, first thing we're going to do is just show you how to set up a, a work area. So the uh, the line that I'm going to draw on the floor now will be the face of the brickwork that we're going to build. So if we just chalk that in, and then we'll just get rid of that straight edge. And then uh, all I'm going to do now is uh, show you how you'd set up a, a, a typical work area to build a model. The blocks that I'm placing here are to put your, what we call your spot boards on top. Your spot boards are what your, your mortar will sit on. <coughs> and the reason we put the blocks underneath them is to, uh, is to save your back really. Um, so you don't have to be bending down and touching the floor, it can be slightly higher up. So if you want to make these, uh, these spot boards higher, you could always put another couple of blocks on them and bring them higher depending on what sort of height you're working at. What you really need here is a space big enough for you to walk between your spot boards and the line of your wall, which is roughly about 600mm. You don't really want it much more than that. What you don't want to be doing is having to walk to pick your mortar up or walk to pick your bricks up. You need to be able to stand in the same position and be able to pick it up. So if I just load a, a few bricks up, the clamp just fits around the six brick like that. Just pull the handle up and you can walk the brick into position. Exactly the same again. Just round the six brick, pull the handle up and into position. It's not really a good idea to stack your bricks like that. So what I'd prefer people to do is to stack them in a fashion like this where we go two bricks that way, two bricks this way, so on and so on. So we get a nice height to be able to pick your bricks up. What you don't want to be doing is going too high with these, so I'd suggest no more than, than uh, 14 brick high, 12 brick high. You don't want, you don't want them, uh, them falling over. So we can do the same again. Number six. Six. And exactly the same again. <coughs> In between the spot boards, probably got enough room here now for, for two stacks. So same again, two one way, two the other. Keeps them nice and tight and safe, stops them falling over. And just keep adding to it. You can also back these up if you're getting too high. And put yourself in the pile up back. I'll just fill this up to, to the same height. Just keeping them nice and tight and safe. And they don't fall over on you. And there we go. So that's a general set out for your area. The next thing I would do on here is uh, is damp your spot boards. The reason you do this is because if you put your mortar direct onto the spot board it'll soak up water up and it tends to dry out quickly. So just with a brush and a little bucket of water if you just wet dampen your board it'll stop your mortar drying out as quick. And then you can load yourself up with your mortar. Go to your barrel and just put yourself a mortar on each spot board. Not too much. Make sure what falls is probably plenty at the beginning to start. Wait, the same on the other board. And there you go, you're pretty much ready to start your work area now. Um, everything's to hand, so if I, if I pick my trailer up now, you'll notice that the line of the wall is that side, so that's the face of the wall, this side of the line. So if I were running a, like a, 
a bit of a garden wall in here or something like that. I could set my bricks at each end like that. And when I start running through, everything's to hand. I don't have to walk over here to pick my water up. I don't have to walk over there to pick my bricks up. And everything's pretty quick and simple. So I can pick my water up off my board like this without really having to move my feet. And I can pick my bricks up at the same time. If I need any extra mortar for joints, it's there and it makes everything quick and simple. And that's a basic set out really.